I completely forgot about that Cubase Pro feature. Hey, what's going on, my friend? Chris Salim here. I just want to make that quick video. It's in relation to my last Cubase Q&A video that I released last uh, Saturday, I think. I'm going to leave the link on top if you want to watch this video. And it has to do with a question that I answered on this video. And to refresh our memories, the question goes like this. Hi, Chris. When I get towards the end of the mix after I've completed all of my volume automation, I want to adjust the overall volume of one or several tracks using the mixer faders. Is there a way to use the fader of a track in the mix console to increase or decrease the overall volume of that channel, but keep all volume automation as well? So if you want to know the answer to that question, you have to watch my last video. I'm going to leave again the link on top and in the description down below. But I completely forgot about that one feature in Cubase Pro, which was introduced in Cubase 9.5, that is actually designed to do this kind of stuff which is to bring down the entire volume of a channel after automation. And I actually got a couple of comments about that. You know, what about the trim option, Chris? Um, why didn't you mention the trim feature in Cubase? Now, the reason why I didn't mention it, it's just because I forgot about it because I just don't use that feature. It is a very cool feature, but it's not, it's not something that I have the reflex on reaching out uh, to. And that is pretty odd because I teach about that feature in my course and I completely forgot about it. So if you have Cubase Pro, check this out. This is how you can trim that down using the trim feature out of Cubase Pro. Um, now I have a snare verb that has some volume automation. So let's say I want to bring down that entire channel um, after the automation is done. Um, you know, there's a bunch of stuff you can do that I shared on the last video. So I'm going to encourage you to watch this video because um, this is actually the stuff that I do on a regular basis uh, to do this kind of stuff. But if you want to use the trim, uh, the trim feature, this is how you are going to do it. You're going to click on F6 to open the automation panel. And there you go. You just click on trim and that will activate the trim option. So if I click on the right automation, because I need to click on that to, um, to, to activate the trim on that channel. And there you go. I'm just going to close this. And now you have the trim level right here uh, by clicking on right automation. And from that point, I can just bring that automation point down or up depending on what I want to do. So let's bring it down. And once I'm done, I'm just going to click on right automation again to deactivate it. And now my uh, I'm, I'm just going to have to make sure that the read is on and active. And there you go. I have my regular automation and, you know, behind that uh, line, I have the trim level. Now, something you need to pay attention to when working with trim is that when trim is on, it's going to be activated on all channels. OK, so you have to make sure to turn it off once you're done trimming down your channel or else what's going to happen if you uh, you keep it on when uh, you're going to select another channel to work on. Um, and you click on um, right automation and, and that channel already has some uh, some automation going on. It is going to activate by default the trim automation on that channel instead of your volume automation. OK, um, so just make sure that trim is off and you're going to be good to go. And don't worry, you're not going to lose your trim automation. Even if it's off, it's still going to be on your channel. Something that you can also do once you're done trimming your channel, you can click on that small arrow on top and go down to freeze the trim automation of selected tracks. And this is what it's going to do. It's going to merge the trim level and the volume automation all together by bringing down the volume automation to the trim level. So there you go, my friend. This is what you need to know about the trim feature in Cubase Pro. And like I said, you know, it's not something that I use on my side. Now, for me, it's a bit more faster and convenient uh, if I want to bring down the level, the general level of a channel that has an automation. I'm just going to go and turn down the output level of the last plugin in my chain and I'm going to be good to go, you know, and I'm going to do all the other stuff that I shared on my last video if I need to do that on several channels. So if you want to know more about that, don't forget to watch that video. But I have to say that trim is a very cool feature 
and maybe I should consider using it more, you know? So let me know what you think down in the comment section. And also, if you have some questions, leave everything down below. And also, if you want to know more about Cubase and you want to gain way more control on the software and you want to learn more tricks like this one, you can check out my course, The Ultimate Guide to Cubase. I'm going to also leave the link down below. All right, my friends, so I hope that was helpful. If so, share and like, and also subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Until next time, take care and see you.